this week. Nelson and I welcome Raul Flores, Marketing Director for CLE Cigar Company. Raul has an update of all things CLE. Brands include The Asylum, Aurora, Win- Winwood Hills, and of course, CLE Cigars. You can check them out at clecigars.com. In a second segment, we have commentary and some news along with the sticks that we have been smoking. Stogie Geeks episode 343 starts right now. This is a Security Weekly production. Broadcasting live from G-Unit Studios in Rhode Island, it's the show where cigars burn slow, ashes fall fast, and cocktails flow steady. It's the Stogie Geek Show. Welcome everyone to the Stogie Geek Show. Joe and I are already silly. Oh yeah. yeah. Joe Josepa, a.k.a. Joe Hollywood is here with me in studio. I'm fired up. So we also have remote... Drew, who is remote over in Texas? Look at you. You got some Stogie Geek swag going on in the background. Got my banner. Where are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm all set up for the uh, Stogie Geek uh, mobile lounge. Cigars, perfected for more than 150 years. Yours to enjoy now. Havana Cigar Club, located in Warwick, Rhode Island, is a great place to enjoy a drink and a cigar. Stogie Geeks listeners can find a $5 off coupon on our website by clicking the HCC logo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Stogie Geeks episode 343. I am your host, Joe Hozempa. Make sure you go to stogiegeeks.com forward slash 343 to get links to the websites and uh, host information, stick information, all that type stuff. That are the show notes here for Stogie Geeks. I am your host, Joe Hozempa. Privilege and an honor to be here. Super excited. To my right is Nelson. What's up, Stogie Geeks? What's up, Joe? What's up, man? Welcome, welcome. Drew is on a hiatus today. I think he's surfing out in Texas. No, I'm only kidding. I don't know what he's doing, but uh, uh, he will be here with us uh, next week there. And now, I have the privilege and the honor to introduce you to the marketing director for CLE Cigar (laughs) Company, and no stranger to the show, Mr. Raul Flores. What's up, buddy? What's up, Joe? How are you, man? I am, time to see you. I know. It's a pleasure to be I know. Here, it's been it's been it's been a little bit over a year, believe it or not. It is since since yeah. you've been last on, and <laughs> I'd like to say that I was doing a lot of stuff, but I was doing a lot of stuff at home <laughs> for half the year, <laughs> you know. And, and and it's like we're just starting to come out now, and things are starting to get back to somewhat normal and then in the industry now we have to hear about all these inventory problems from taking a six month hiatus and all of that stuff there too but you have lots of updates for us here on uh cle uh can't wait to hear them can't wait to talk about them um we also talk about uh what's what's going on like for the rest of the year and where you're going so go for it man i'll tell you what when we started, when everything started, uh, the pandemic, and it was what, like uh, March? So uh, we had everything happening, right? We were going to do IPCPR. We were planning for this and that, and everything out of the And we had a few cigars, or, or we were planning to release new cigars. But like, like I said, this backed up everything. This changed everything for us. And... The first thing that we had to do is, you know, what's how we're gonna how we're gonna do IPCPR. Mm. So we thought, hey, just let's do let's let's take the IPCPR yeah. to the people instead of you know making IPCPR here. Um, so what we did is, I, I think all the seri- uh, the give me one second, sorry guys. Yep, the dinner series trip. And that way we took the IPCPR to a lot of people. And, and uh, the advantage that we have is that Christian owns his own plane and he's a pilot. So we were able to, you know, go to the stores and, and, and really provide everything, all the service to them, you know, and bring them, you know. We noticed that a lot of people were doing very good in the industry. They were selling very well. So 
hey, let's 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 keep going with them, you know, let's give them this service and let's, you know, take them what they need. And everybody responded really nice, man. We had um, a very good crowd. Um, everybody that went to the dinners had a really good time. Uh, they got to see another side of us, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Christian was able to explain them everything, what we're doing and what we stand for, man. And, and it was really nice to see everybody. We would have videos and we would have the things that we did in Honduras. And it's impressive how everybody would pay attention. You would see the, the heads going and and the brand man the the things that we're doing with the brand and the things that we're moving forward with the brand it's amazing man the, mm-hmm. the programs that we have in honduras now it's just to see everybody come together even with the pandemic going on and mm-hmm. um, it was really nice man everybody that showed up to those dinner series man thank you so much we appreciate all the the love and the efforts and and it was awesome man mm-hmm. you that that's a mouthful, right? You just broke down the whole segment yeah. of the show, right over there. <laughs> no, no, man. I uh, uh, so no, much, no, man. no. It's great. It's great. It's great. Um, definitely want to talk about factory worker safety towards the end, of course, mm-hmm. because I, I really don't like to to shine a, a, a highlight on COVID. I mean, we we we're we're all aware of it, and I think the media does enough. Not only the cigar media, but the regular media. So we have to touch upon right. it because I think it's important for the cigar consumers to know that the safety of the workers is is important right so make sure that i don't forget to to talk about that but you when you hopped on a plane you you gotta you gotta back that up right you hopped on a plane alone with no other company other than what's in the cle profile correct and then you you did like a we took it you you took who we took Tom. We took everybody. We oh took, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, yeah, we but but like, yeah, yeah. So so you took you you took Tom Lazuka for the story geeks who who are just listening. Uh, uh, pa- partner over in Asylum Cigars. Then you took Christian CLE and the brand there. But there there was no other companies other than what's in the CLE portfolio. Correct? No. Okay, just want to make sure I understand this correctly. No. Then you hop on a plane, just like Bon Jovi would. I love it, right? <laughs> right? You 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 hop on a plane and and you take the show to the people. How how was the response for that? Take us through that because you obviously as the marketing director, you 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 have to you have to say, "Hey, uh we're going to be in Atlanta." Like I can almost probably guess where you went. You went to all the hot spots, right? You guys are stationed down in South Florida, so so that's pretty self-explanatory, right? But we we haven't done Florida yet because Florida okay. was a hot spot. That's true. So we that's left right. That yep. To the end. Yeah, it was that's probably a smart move. To show up. Yep. Yep. So where did you decide to go, and what was the response like? Like I'm. I mean, I'm sure it's one of those business meetings where Christian has his crazy ideas that you guys all have to have to do. Hey, I got this idea. We're gonna hop on a plane and bring the show to people. So take us through that if you can. That'd be awesome. So it started like this. All right, guys. You know, we're not gonna have an IPCPR. Nobody's gonna go. I, I, at the beginning, we were yep. trying to be positive here, right? Yeah, right. We're gonna have an IPCPR, even if we make it small, even if we fix it like this or like we were already planning how to make it safe for everybody. But then, then IPCPR just said no more IPCPR, and that's when Christian is like, "All right, guys, we've done dinners before, which have worked for us in the past when Camacho was there or whatever." Sure. So we've we've done this before, but the only re- the only difference is they did it, I think, uh, driving toward to, to to get to the clients. Now this time we 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 took the plane. Every every time we had to do COVID tests, so I I have done like maybe maybe like. 12 COVID tests already. Okay. And it's pretty fun. I'm already I'm already professional on the COVID. <laughs> thank, thank, uh, thank God we never <laughs> right. we never we always we were always negative and, and that that was a good thing too. Yes. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something that we had like a little theory. It's just a theory, guys. But Christian would ask everybody all the time, especially cigar smokers, like heavy cigar smokers, hey, do you guys heard of any cases within the cigar smokers? Mm-hmm. Because we had this theory. I get right? it. Yeah. That yeah. Meant cigars, cigars are the cure, man. <laughs> well, like you shield. know, you know, I get flack sometimes from the, you know, you smoke cigars and, and, you know, when I was in college, I used to smoke cigars and box in a MMA and all that. And it's like, how could you do all that? Like, dude, man, if I didn't smoke cigars, honestly, like I, I would, I would honestly like probably choke someone out. Like, like, like seriously, <laughs> like it, it, I, uh, that's just, it's just, you know, and you know, and, and, and again, even when we go to cigars, 
cigar shops, like we we had, we were under lockdown for a full month, right? Now I had the ability to go to the cigar shop that was closed to do Stogie Geeks through the pandemic because the only person that came into studio was Johnny, and then everyone else just kind of zoomed in, just like you. So I went yeah. over to Churchill Smoke Shop and Lounge. They they were closed to the regular public for the first for you know for the first six weeks of like a lockdown, right? But Getting past the lockdown, like, you know, we, we walk around, you know, you got your little hand sanitizer over here, you're walking, you know, you're doing that. And, and there's, a, a, there's a different, you know, wh- you're more aware of it there. And I think that the cigar community is more aware of his or her surroundings than, than there. And, and, and cigars, you know, that, that stuff is in your lungs and doing your thing. And, and I'm not saying it's the cure, but, you know. At least if you're gonna get it, you've had fun getting it, right? <laughs> That's all awesome. right. I, you know, I, I mean, man, I mean, if really you guys did. are gonna get it, we you really guys did. hopped on a private plane and flew around and selling cigars. I mean, life ain't really that bad during the pandemic. I don't know. I, I like <laughs> I like Christian's theory. I think he's onto something, dude. Chris, no, no, because honestly, Christian is. It, it, you know what I like about him? He's old school, okay, and he's not afraid to try something. Even Absolutely. if it worked or didn't work in the past. I'm not saying a lot of stuff of his work that didn't work. I'm going to say he's not afraid. And he's his own person, right? Yes. And, and this is what I like about it because I remember when I actually had him on here, right? We spent like half the – we spent like, I don't know, 40 minutes talking about his son, and ten minutes talking about cigars, and that was yeah. the interview. It was just yeah. like, yeah, I know, you know, and, and and it was super cool, right? And 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 he does his own thing, but he brings up a, a valid point. Cigar din is worked, right? Absolutely. We see this in the security field a lot, right? When we used to travel pre-COVID and then go, what happens is if you take a, if you take a company, they go to a trade show, right? Either in in or out of the cigar field, they go to a trade show for five six years in a row, right? After five six years in a row, it gets stale. It's the same thing if you have a family outing and you go everywhere with your family. You bring all the family and do that there. You know, first year you have a good time, second year, yeah. By the time that you're at the sixth year, you're like, Mom, Dad, can we go somewhere else? Like this is getting kind of boring, right? And and, and that's just human behavior. Let alone everything that PCA, IPCPR has been through from an identity right. perspective and where they're going as an organization. <laughs> So, Christian, hats off to you. You had the means to do it. You you brought back an old school event. I remember when I owned the cigar shop that we got invited to dinners, and they were purchase dinners. You know, they'd take us out to dinner. It was in a banquet, like it was in a banquet hall, right? And yeah. then, you know, uh, either buffet style. It was like going to like almost like a wedding, and instead of dancing, you bought cigars, and that's Absolutely, that's exactly that's exactly that's exactly how they were. You you, yeah. you 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 went to a banquet hall. You had other cigar people. You guys all fraternized for an hour or two. How's business? What's going on? What's hot? What's not? You guys are all there. You're doing that. And and, and that's when business moves. And that's oh, where, and that's where I think a lot of organizations have l- lost their way. And I'm not picking on PCA or, or IPCPR. They've lost their way when it's mm-hmm. business. Because if you don't think that Business A, who owns a brick and mortar, talks to business B, who owns a brick and mortar, and then comes around and says, hey, what sells? And then if business B says, this absolutely sells in my shop, the business owner A is saying, why the hell isn't this selling in my shop? Right? You know, and, 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 and that's where, that's what, what we call, okay, uh, uh, I'm going to sound like freaking Zig Ziglar over here, right? It's, freaking, it's called synergy. And that's what the that's what the industry is missing. That is what the industry is missing. It's missing synergy. It's like okay, if PCA goes away, we're gonna go to TAA and we're gonna put, get all our sticks over there for TAA and this and that. And oh yeah, we're not gonna have an event. We're 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 gonna go on Zoom, like yeah. everyone else. Yeah. Like we're gonna like exactly. like like okay, we're not gonna do our event. We're, we're, we're now if you're a CE. Oh, I'm sorry, CI, Cigars International, Holtz, Famous, and you want to go online, that's fine. That's your home. You are online. Right. So you're right. playing in your domain. But if you're mm-hmm. a CLE Absolutely. or an Asylum or anything, if you're Crowned Heads or, or Oliva or Rocky or freaking Arturo Fluente, J.C. Newman, you, you got to get on the road as best way Absolutely. you can 
as best way you can, right? And as safely it's the American way. As safely as you can through COVID. I mean, you know, oh, so super cool. I'm so pumped. I didn't even know this. Um there Yeah, man, it, you know, it went really good. And then the people were really happy, man. It's like I said, it's the American way. It's it's the way sometimes business was uh, conducted and and having Christian there. You know, you have IPCPR, and, and, and sometimes you have five minutes of Christian. Sure. Having these dinners, you have Christian right there. You can ask him. And we were having such a good time. People were not even talking about cigars. They were talking about their lifestyles and what they were doing and how they were doing. And yep. it, it, it turned into a, something more, more. It's an experience. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice experience, man. Well, and and it, it, we were all laughing. We were having a good time. And they obviously know it's a, it's a business is gonna get conducted, and, and they're happy to to do it right there on on spot, man. And yep. a, a lot of the stores, and this is a cool thing. Like, um, we had our our salespeople, you know, find a spot, and that's the other difficult part for them. You know, like a lot of places were closed, and then sure. some places were like, you know what, we'll do it. You know, we'll take care of it, and we'll make sure everybody is. So everywhere we go. They had a, a nice spot for us so yep. we can smoke outside. And everybody was just protected. Everybody was, man, the, the vibe was excellent. And, and people were reacting very, um, the way it should be, man. Yep. Right? There were, they, they were conscious of everything was happening. Yeah, some people maybe didn't show up at the last minute. But that was from 10, I would say two people said, you know what, I'm a little scared. I think I'm not going to do it. But yep. everybody just went. It's went. old school. Went. That's why, you know, That's great. Uh, in my business, not Security Weekly or Story Geeks, but but with my business, when COVID hit, I do a lot of television, radio, and sports advertising for market placement. Well, like, I mean, you know, like the Red Sox are selling season tickets now on TV. Thank God they're back to normal. Like, that's over, right? Um, yes. You know, as a Yankee fan, sorry. Right, but like you know, they're like selling like season tickets on Facebook. It's phenomenal, right? Um, you know, and 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 then reality hits. And I remember pacing. It was it was like mid March, right? No, I'm sorry. It was it was the end of March, beginning of April. I'm like, okay, my business is losing X amount of dollars on this. Okay, what? It wasn't like, oh wow, like what? I'm like thinking. I'm scratching my head. I'm walking outside, smoking a cigar. My little son goes for a nap. I'm I'm breaking my brain. I'm saying, I need to pivot. My business needs to pivot because this is not going away. And this, and then I came to the conclusion right around the 10, about, about April 10th. I might be making the date, but it's like April 8, 9, 10. It was, it was just before the teens of April. And I said, this will be 2020. Like, like I, I said to myself, financially, right? Because you, cause you got you know, you to remember, you sell cigars, you make cigars. You sell cigars, you make cigars. You got to keep it moving, right? You got to keep it moving. Yep. It's the same thing with me, right? You sell advertisement, you make money. You buy more advertisement, you, and, and if you sell more while you buy, you make even more money, right? Because you bought more, and your purchasing power goes up, and then your profit margin goes up. That's how that industry works, right? So you're like, okay. And then I'm like, okay, I got to pivot. I got to pivot. I got to pivot because we're not doing baseball. Like, I make a lot of money on Yankee baseball because mm -hmm. we play Yankee baseball here in the province metro as well, as well as Red Sox. So it's like, okay, you know, nice. okay. And so you do that there, and I'm like, okay, baseball's gone, right? I thought it was gone, gone. It's 60 games. It's gone. Football, yeah. I've done okay. And I'm like, eh. But, but the bottom line is I'm saying, oh, my God, football. Even if I was thinking about football, it was April then. It's September, I'm saying, how am I gonna get through these six months? Like, like you could say, okay, well, baseball's going. I got football. No, 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 you got six no, months no. of a gap you gotta right. fill, right? Yeah. And so, that's so cool that you did that, and you did it old school, keeping people safe. W town wise, like, where did you go? Like, do a circuit. Like, where, 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 where'd you guys, okay. where, where'd you guys go? Because so obviously, you're gonna pull the biggest first retailers. First, we did the East Coast. Yep. Right. Yep. So we did uh, North Carolina, and then we did. Um, we also did uh, New Hampshire, yep. right? Yep. And after that, we came back to Miami, yep. took a week off, we tested, yep. and then we went to Georgia. Yep. And then from Georgia, we went to Texas. Yep. And then Texas, we did Houston one day, and then the next day, or we would stay in Houston two days, and then the following day, we'll go to Dallas. Yep. And then from Dallas, we come back home. Yep. And then we go back to Chicago. Yep. And then nice. from Chicago, we moved to uh, Michigan. Yep. So we did East Coast, 
And then we did um, the Midwest. Yeah. Mid- Midwest. Yep. And Midwest. then yep. we did Oregon at, at, at last. Well, we would always come and then just keep going. And then now we're going to finish with Tyler. Where are we going to go now? We're probably going to go Virginia or New York. Yep. Yep. Uh, we have like two more, two or three more uh, places that we have to go. Yep. Go and to Virginia because the we, tax is a little lower. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Virginia. The taxes are a little low, and it might be up to more up to buy. Because New York ju- just did a tax raise. We're actually getting we're actually getting a brick and mortar owner from the state of New York to define the actual tax the tax ramifications. Because they're not as bad as the headline makes. I know seventy five. Here comes the hate email. By the way, the switch. Send all your hate email to Nelson. At stogiegeeks.com, right? But no, like the switch isn't that bad. It comes out to like a buck eighty, two, two, two and a quarter a stick. We're all gonna spend it. Like it is what it is. Let's just move on with our lives, right? But yeah, so then going to Virginia, and then where else you going? You got a couple. Of, so you know, it's funny because you went to what we call here as all the hot spots. The hot spots. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, if if you have a forest fire. You're gonna put out the hot spots as, as quickly as you can, and if you're trying to look for 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 chasing the revenue, you're gonna go to the hot spots. I mean, you know, and so it made yeah. sense. You know, of course you're gonna go to New Hampshire. There's freaking no, there's no sales tax up there, <laughs> and there's a bunch of people who buy up there who are on the map. I mean, you know, it, you know, you're not, you know, you're not gonna go in downtown Boston where there's two shops. I mean, it's crazy. You know, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's super cool. So the yeah, man, we so the meals were reacting really well, man. Yep. So the meals went well, everything went well, and everybody stayed safe. Everybody had a good time. And yeah. what's what I think is super cool, and then Nelson has a question, I'm sure, right? Um, is that like you they got more of Christian. And I don't want to take away from the trade shows, but I can tell you that when I go to a trade show, okay, this is outside of the cigar industry. When I go to a cybersecurity trade show, I have a list, okay? I have a list it's on my computer. It's in my Google Keep, so I can use it on my phone, right? I put it in the Google Keep notes, and I have a checkbox because that I'm very check. And I have a list of pe- places, boots that I must stop at to say hi. And it's amazing how you miss people, even if you have a conference for three, four, four days in a row. You miss them because they because they have their agenda. It's like you're almost better getting them outside of the conference on a regular schedule sometimes. So Absolutely. you know, I, I think I think you made the best of a situation, and uh, hats hats off to you and Christian. Absolutely, oh, man, that was awesome. In the Honestly, team, the, in the, the team, whole team, the whole team. Yeah, everybody, everybody was working really hard during these times, man, and and everybody like, and I, I gotta give it to Christian and and Tom. You know, like these guys. Went for it, like you said. They're not afraid, man. They're not and afraid. You can't be afraid. You they can't didn't be afraid. think about it. They didn't think about it. They they roll up their sleeves, make us work. They they were the leaders, man. I, I, I do. I gotta give it to them. You, man. Yeah, we're yeah. Really proud. You we're you really proud. you cannot be afraid, and that's what I do here every Friday, with 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 Nelson and Drew, is we roll up our sleeves and just get into it to whoever we're either interviewing or talking about and doing that because you can't be afraid. You can't be afraid to, to, to do that. And, and you got to be yourselves. And it doesn't hurt that you have access to an airplane. <laughs> it makes driving a little easier, right? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't hurt. It, it doesn't, doesn't hurt. hurt. It doesn't Listen, hurt. guys, I'm going to tell, tell you something okay. very scary that happened to me and Christian while we were there. We so were was Christian go flying the plane? For, uh, hey, he's a pilot, he said. Was Christian, Christian fly- the plane, yeah. flying the plane? Okay, you yeah. made sure he was like he was okay, right? He was <laughs> oh, he's absolutely, yeah. No, I'm, I'm only hey, playing. I trust I'm only, Christian yeah, I'm only playing. with my life <laughs> sure. when I'm in that plane. <laughs> Believe me, he's a very good pilot. And I'm going to tell you a, a story right now. So we were going to go to New Hampshire again. Right, and we were gonna go to a to a to a. I, I think it was an event for with his brother, with Al- Aladino, actually. Where are you going, twins and or or uh, twins? Two guys or two guys. Two guys. Yeah, two all guys, right. I guys. knew you were going one of the two, right? <laughs> so we're on our way. We are like, uh, what is it? Like twenty minutes on the flight, right? Yep. All of a sudden, I feel we're just going down, and I'm telling you guys, we're going down. <laughs> Uh, I think there's uh, Christian is playing a prank on me because I'm the only one there, and he's you know he's uh, with the uh, with the co-pilot, and he's you know flying his plane, yep. and I'm thinking, man, <laughs> this guy is probably making fun of me. He's he's about to do something really hard, and and they're just having a good time. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Fun of me. <laughs> and we have a map, 
in 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 the cell phone. So I'm I'm looking at the map and I see that we're turning around, right? Yep. As I as I look, I, I'm I'm not afraid of flying. I'm not I'm not afraid uh, afraid of anything like that. But I'm thinking, man, something wrong probably happened because it seems like we're going back. So we stop. We land on uh, Palm Beach Air International Airport. Okay. And Christian goes. My man, you are one of the best um, passengers I've ever had in my life. If you only knew what just happened right now, I'm like, what happened? He goes, look at the sh- look at the at the front shield, man. The front shield of the plane was cracked. Are you serious? In the middle while wow. we were flying. Wow. What was like a bird? So, I, man, the the engine was overheating something, and it was not it was not a uh, cooling. Oh, the so cooling it rattled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, combustion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So it made the I, I believe the the shield, the windshield. It's not it's not made of like glass. It's like a plastic. Yes, or it's like yeah. some yep. kind of like so it just cracked. Yeah. And Christian just got afraid, and and the altitude that we had. Sure. The only one dying is me. Yeah. <laughs> not them. Yeah. They, they have the oxygen. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Um, that, that was a little bit scary. And yet, when we landed, the guys were like, hey, guys, look, you can still fly back, but uh, you guys got to go back home. Not, you can't fly like this to, to New Hampshire. So so Christian looked at me. And he's like, are you okay to go back? And I'm like, man, we're already here. Let's go back. You know, so yeah, we yeah. went back uh, with, the, with the wind cracked and everything. With the wind cracked, with the shield cracked. With the shield cracked, cracked. yeah, yeah. It's pretty fun, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a cool the, story. Did you keep the mask close to you? You're <laughs> No, I, I, I told him next time, please have oxygen in the tank, man, or something for us. Yeah. Like, we don't know. He's yeah, like, no, right. man, you should have. <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah, yeah. That's all. <laughs> That's so, <laughs> so did you make it for your interview? Yeah, you made it for your interview. No, we, we didn't. We didn't no, go. that yes, because that was like two, three weeks ago, right? Yeah, 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 yep, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. That's so crazy. We didn't. We didn't. Wow. That's <laughs> uh, uh, thank you. So we're survivors, man, we're survivors. So I'm telling you. is the windshield fixed now for the next flight? It's fixed. It's All fixed. Right, we uh, just went to the Bahamas really yeah, quick, and yeah. that thing is brand new. All right, cool. You went to the Bahamas really quick. You gotta swing by here and pick me up and take me, take me down yeah, south. Yeah, we got airports. <laughs> you know, I'm ten minutes from from PVD Airport. Right, I can meet you over there. Awesome, awesome, Nelson. Yeah, no, I, before hey, whenever I, you guys want. Come with you, man. Before I go to any questions, I just want to say like something Joe and I talk about all the time on the show. Well, I don't know all the time, but enough is how you got to get in front of the the the, the smokers. You got to get in front of the consumer, and uh, I think it's great that you guys are doing those dinners. I mean, it's just you can't just let it sit on the shelf. You just can't. No. Nope. Right. You you got to get in front of them, and even to your point. You don't necessarily have to talk about cigars. It's just that connection that you're making the consumer. That's that's freaking great, man. Yeah, um, man. We talked earlier about um, the the dinners, and then I think Joe alluded to retailers getting together, talking about things, and it actually triggered a question for me going back to um, the factories down in Honduras. Did you guys get together, the factories and the farms, to talk about how to deal with the pandemic? Did that happen at all? Okay, so- so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna be very open with you guys. So when we were, uh, when everything hit, right, there was no cases in Honduras in Dan Lee. Uh, so at that moment, we were like, okay, you could. It, the government shut everything down, right? So the, we even had some uh, military come and say you can't work anymore, close everything down. That moment, Sandra Ochoa, which is like the general manager of the factory, rolled up their sleeve again, right, and 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 she did. A project that included a hand, a book of how to run the factory, uh, how how the specifications have to work. So we, she literally measured everything to be according to code. We all, we were we were uh, apparently chosen to be like the leading uh, company on how to do or how to beat COVID or how to go with the rules. Mm-hmm. Um, so we were very proud with that. Um, Every worker has a spot to, to, to work. They're not working together like they usually do. Mm-hmm. They are very separated from each other. They literally have like six feet uh, from all the direction. Um, everywhere you go in, in the in the factory, we, we uh, build new facilities so they can be separated. And now everybody is working with a team specifically, and they're doing one thing at a time. They're all working together, but it's everybody's in a separate area. Everybody yep. is covered. 
with their mouth, you know, their masks. They they have actually the soap that we have. I didn't know this uh, because I I went, I washed my hands, and I'm like, hey man, I'm not getting any foam out of this soap. What kind of cheap soap is this? <laughs> but they told me, wait, no cheap soap here. This is actually a soap that that is uh, given us by Bayer uh, Science, which has a uh, everything is special to to it's pretty much what they use in uh when they are going to do surgeries or when they're when doctors are gonna you know use their hands to to a patient yep. it has the the right things to to kill every bacteria yep. or everything oh, wow. that, that you don't need in your hands so it's a, they have a special soap and every day in the morning there's a doctor first of all there's a doctor on the premises so there's a doctor there in case someone feels some some kind of something Someone is always there to check them out, and then in the mornings everybody gets checked. Gets checked not only with the with the little thermometer, but they also get checked like uh, with like a like a rhythm, heart rhythm, because the the doctor explained to me that you know if there's also something going on inside, it's already like telling them this guy is gonna probably gonna get sick or something's happening in, in their body. So these hmm. guys are ahead. They they, they yeah. know what they're doing. And they're doing it so everybody at work feels safe. Yeah, if you monitor, you guys, like, if the you environment, mo- go ahead. The, the environment at at, uh, at the factory, it's it's very clean. You feel really safe walking in there. Uh, you have to wear masks constantly, um, but but you feel safe. I mean, yep. everybody there, it's working happily. Uh, man, this is what the Honduran people wanted. I mean, a lot of people want to say, hey. You know, let, let them stay at home. But these guys, they, they all they do is work. That's what they know how to do. And, and we're proud of them. They, they, they wake up at four in the morning. That's another thing. They wake up at four in the morning so they can wait for a van that is disinfected when they when it comes to pick them up. And then when it gets to the to the to the factory, it gets disinfected again. Right. So it goes and pick up another people. It gets disinfected again. Now, I'm telling you guys, we're on top of everything. So. Every cigar that we make, it's clean. Yep. So you wrote you, the book on dealing with the pandemic, basically. Well, they actually <laughs> did because if you follow Sandra Ochoa, Sandra Ochoa did. Yes. If yeah. if you follow CLE Cigars or Christian Aroa himself on Facebook, like he's filmed this, you know, 15, 30 second documentary, like clip it snippets on this on social media, where I could even go as far as saying like they have like a break time. I don't know if it's every hour, but it has a cadence to it where they get up and just wash their hands to, you know, in line for their groups just because it's just time to do that. So they've totally changed. Not saying that they didn't wash their hands before, right. but 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 what's like it's and it's like every hour, every two hours, whatever it is, just because you know you have to do that. And I actually have that stuff, that medical stuff, in my backpack that I walk around with if, if you see me locally i'm always carrying a freaking like a military grade backpack right True story. And, and 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 in there is that stuff because my significant other works in the hospital and that stuff is freaking because she's like she makes fun of this stuff over here right the 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 people who who uh i buy pomade from Oh, well, you have the CLE, but the people I buy pomades, I buy so much pomade that they ship me freaking hand sanitizer during COVID, nice. right? So I'm just like, oh, and she's like, why do you use that crap? Use the stuff I give you, this and that. I'm like, I use the stuff you give you, but that stuff like freaking, like it makes my hands like white, like white and white, you know what I mean? I she's want the like, CLE stuff. You can use that for surgeries. You know, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, man. Right. So yeah, so, um, but but if you follow uh, uh, Christian on, on Facebook, media. on social media, you you'll get that and i was seeing that there i saw a couple of pictures of you guys in the airplane i thought they were past pictures actually like from no, you know I, th- I thought you because you know how people like reminisce like they post a picture of them like in a crowded football game and people and people are so so crazy on social media what are you doing at a football game with all those people what freaking plays for <laughs> football people like where are you freaking what are you on mars like you know I mean? it's like dude it's so funny to watch and to be a fly on the wall for social media Media and working in the cybersecurity field, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like people. Man, we, we would put uh, before everything happened. We would put like other pictures. You know, we have so much content that we, we right. we're, we're putting it for people. And then we would get comments like, "Hey guys, come on, these guys are not washing their hands." Hey, Amen. So we would have to go and be like, hey, "Sure, this was before the pandemic." Hey, Amen. This was before the. Yeah. But hey, man, you know, you just gotta inform people what what is it that we're doing and, right. and where right. are we? But but 
trust me, everything that we do, it's for the best of everyone. Right. I mean, right. we think about the consumer all the time. Yep, like the biggest Facebook scam ever is take a picture of yourself and we'll tell you what you look like 30 years from now. <laughs> okay, so you take a picture of yourself, you enter an email address, a birthday with a profile, and a facial recognition of yourself. Like, <laughs> yes. all they need is a freaking address and they can get your social. Oh, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And chances are, <laughs> your, 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 um, your Facebook profile will say that you reside in this town. So now you do a Google search for the town, you find the number. You can now start out like, yeah, genius, right? Genius <laughs> move right there, right? Joe just gave out the formula for identity fraud. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, like, I'm just saying, like, you know, and the funny thing is, honestly, because other than Story Geeks, in my in my duties here at Security Weekly, stu at, at, uh, over at Security Weekly, I hear, I hear seven other shows that are just like this, and only not cigar security and i'm like these guys real i'm like that yeah because now you have a database of names and emails with right. birthdays exact birthdays oh yeah and a town and you numbers. live in and for <laughs> i guess like i'm like wow like that that's um it's kind of scary very scary yeah it is it yeah. is it is <laughs> you should all sign <laughs> so if you are a story geek listener and you took a picture of what you would look like in 30 years you should probably monitor your all of your checking <laughs> accounts four yeah, years from now absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny so what hey guys, so, so what's what do going you think on of, of, the, of the zoom thing now because it used to be a different um the what a ways to do it no but now we now we, with everything happening zoom took over Oh, Zoom? Zoom? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Zoom is huge. Uh, pfft, uh, oh, I wait, wait, I wait, invested whoa, 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 in it whoa, whoa, last whoa. year. This is a sensitive subject, right? You mean like oh, Zoom? Wow. No, 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 no. You mean like like Zoom for meetings or Zoom and now I have a cigar podcast? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which, which, which conversation do you want to have? Because I'm prepared to have both, right? <laughs> Listen, no, no, no. Right? I'm prepared to have both, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, you know. I'm gonna tell you when we when we started to uh, when this thing hit, Christian told me, "Hey, you know what? Let's start doing zooms, right? Yep. Let's invite people and, yep. and, and and let's 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 just maybe there's people out there that need to hear or we, we just it started by being us, just the team. And then Christian is like, you know what? Invite everybody, man. If somebody wants to come and hear us talk, you know, let them hear us. So we did. Uh, so we we did probably like. What is it? Maybe ten little shows every every Friday, every Wednesdays and and uh, Fridays. I think we were doing them. And I mean, the crowd that we were getting was like very little crowd. Sure. But then one day I decided to really go out and about and and then really you know tell people that we're doing this. And so we I sent an invitation to everybody. I really didn't know how to use it, right? Yeah. But. Uh, I, I left my 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 screen to share, and I didn't know how to use it. So <laughs> yep. when we were having a really good time, all of a sudden, I guess this group of kids went in the chat room, man, and they started to put pornography all over the place. Man, I had to turn that thing oh, off, no. but we had a really good time, man, <laughs> because you know it, we're all cigar smokers. We're not gonna take offense on this, but man, when we went, when we went went back to the to the chat to like you know i had to cancel everybody out i had to remove people i had to accept people again <laughs> and then the names sometimes i didn't understand them they're like huge anus and good it was uh, a mess uh, but um yeah it was really funny that the way it happened everybody was laughing but it, it took me a while to uh, learn now the other thing that you're saying right now yeah man a lot of people are gonna use this platform to create yes. a, new, a new thing uh, you know <laughs> you, you, you know raul it's 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 a two it's I, I do have an answer for, for both, okay? Um, if you rewind time and get rid of COVID, when I first met you, you that's the platform that you and I were trying to put together for Christian, right? Um, right. We, I was telling you that we do this in cybersecurity field all the time. Uh, we could certainly do a, it's called a webinar, and come meet Christian, where, you know, the Story Geek listener would sign up and then do that there and then do the webinar. And then, you know, uh, now CLE now has their name and email. They can go and mock the people, give them updates and all of that stuff there. You know, um, 
you and I were, were creatively trying to put that back together back in 2018. And then uh, it got crazy, and then the timing wasn't right. Um, and then, you know, you, you brought it to Christian's attention, and, and, and we didn't end up doing it. And then now fast forward with there. I think that that format is very important, but I think an element missing of all these new podcasts that have sprouted out. Now, I'm not talking about you, a company. If you, a company, wants to do a Come Meet Christian and do a Zoom and all that stuff, that's called utilizing your resources. But you have to watch out for the ramifications of people getting into the Zoom, doing that, how it's going to be produced and whatnot. When you look at a podcast, a true cigar podcast, right, you know, there's a team that is behind Nelson and I on screen and you on screen and if Drew was here Drew on screen and you know if 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 oh, anything that orchestrates it's kind of like if you're putting on a play right so you know you're putting on a show a live show right and then we're live so there's a platform and then at the end of the day you know if Facebook ever gets rid of tobacco alcohol or firearms officially right Mm -hmm. All that data is going to go away. Now, if Facebook gets rid of that or YouTube or whichever, Stogie Geeks and other podcasts, not all of them, but other podcasts will continue to exist. So it's a two-part problem. I love it that you guys, hey, if you can't be in brick-and-mortar stores, have a Zoom meeting. Absolutely. Like, you know, like full, full disclosure, I had Noel Rojas on the show from, from, from Rojas Cigars, right? And he's going... And I said, listen, I, I know two cigar shop owners that I think they should be introduced to your portfolio. I'm not trying to sell for you. Just send me some samples. I'll give it to them. Can I give them your cell phone number? Yes. Why? He's much smaller than you guys, right? So it's different. If I walk into a brick and mortar and say, have you heard about CLE or Asylum? They're going to be like, dude, are you, what, what planet are you from, right? <laughs> it's, it's, it's just different. But, but again, it was a smaller, you know. And I'm a fan of the brand. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to my two favorite shops, introduce them to them, give them, give them a couple of sticks if they like it. That's a deal between them. But here's, here's the deal. Now that with COVID, when, when they're in, he's going to do a Zoom meeting instead of like an event. You know how you go to an event and you do all of that? And, 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 it's, and, and, and it's just it, – so that's utilizing your resources. I think it's great for you guys. For the podcast that have coming out, I mean – it's crazy because, like, we have, you know, a commercial format in there. All, the, all they are are Facebook Live re recordings over a Zoom meeting. Now, they're utilizing their resources, and as they get bigger, if they become bigger podcasts, they're going to realize that it's a production. Like, we have yeah. a production engineer, you know Absolutely. him, Johnny. It's a whole orchestrated event yeah. here for some of the bigger yeah. podcasts. And it's not bigger as far as bigger or whichever. It's just, you know, the the idea in, in – there's Johnny yeah, there's right Johnny there. And right Gustavo. <laughs> and Gustavo. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, we got two people switching us all around, making sure we sound good, making sure it's there. And by the way, like 10 minutes before we went live, they were producing another podcast in the side yeah, of security right field. Like, right before. So, you know, they come and they got to clean and do all of this stuff. And they, got, and they have their work to do. It's a whole team. And I think the awareness of all these new podcasts is super cool, right? Because – it, it, it's great to build awareness for that, but, you know, it's like everything else. It's kind of like, you know, the small guy who says, well, I'm going to stop my own cigar company and then realizes like, wow, this is hard or whichever, yeah. right? It's the same. It's yeah. the same aspect where, you know, if you're a small cigar company, you're against you, Arturo yeah. Fluente, Davidoff. Or Camacho, you 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 know uh, you know there it, you know in 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 let alone online, but I think it's great for the industry for them to do it, and I think that if they think that they're gonna, when are they gonna make the switch? Because all of their data resides on Facebook, and it should be resided on their own platform. And to build your own platform like we have, I mean, you know, like look at Stogie Geeks. It's 15 years, not Stogie Geeks yes. itself, but Paul Azadorian who founded Stogie Geeks, his business model started 15 years ago. So for you to bring in podcasts and come in there to the extent that we do, you're going to have to hire some full-time people. But for you to use Zoom 
to have people meet Christian, I think it's super cool. You know, talking about the yeah. online platform, actually, I, I want to give some props to Raul and, and Christian. So I was I was going through your site over the last few days, and I have to say, as far as a brand, going to I'm not going to name other names. I won't I won't do that. But your site, your CLE site, is actually one of the best I've seen because I could get inf- not only can I get information about sticks, I can buy the sticks. It was phenomenal. Yes. And, I, and normally yeah. you just see here's the sticks. No I, no sure. idea how to buy them. Yeah. yeah. No no communicate nothing. No, right. no help at all. Well, that, again, Ra- Raul. And correct me if I'm wrong, time-wise, you're like, what, four years, three years deep into this position? Three years. Yeah, three years deep into this position. And Christian realizes, like, hey, man, I got to have a full-time person on this stuff. And that, and that's what <laughs> that's what he does. Like, is, that, is that you, Raul, the site? Yes, sir. Yes, it's yeah. fantastic. That. Yes. See, I didn't even know that. Yeah. So Hold on fantastic. for a second. Thank Hold you, on for a second. I'm going to smack Nelson around. Didn't uh, we were introduced to the goddamn market <laughs> quarter. <laughs> there. It was the webmaster. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, Rookies. Hey, we have a good team, man. <laughs> Look, let me let me show you guys just just so you know a little bit of what we're doing right now. Oh yeah, show things. Yeah, Raul I, does I this all the if, time. If show and tell, this, old but... school. Please do. Ooh, yeah, I Ooh. yeah. Pandemonium. I saw that today next door over at the Havana cigar shop. I saw that today. And he's like, we just smoke this on the show. I says. He ain't on that long. That thing's like eight and a half by what? It's what, eight. What is that? It's it's the pandemonium by asylum. Look no, at it. Saying, it's well, we huge. have we have three different three different ones. Eight and a half. Look at by that. seventeen. Come eight on. Eight and a half yes. by sixteen. Come on. The, the next door. And eight Nelson. and a half by by fifty two. Man, it's a really amazing cigar right now. It's it's one of our be- uh, uh, amazing performers. Uh, it's a sweet cigar. I, I mean, it's strong as you go, but but uh, but it actually it's very sweet to 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 smoke. And I'm gonna send you guys some samples so you guys can definitely enjoy them. Awesome. And let me know what you guys think, man. You know yeah, what that is? That's, I, a, that's a wife <laughs> avoidance cigar, dude. That's what that like, is. Like like <laughs> like 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 honestly, you know you know like okay. You know, someone says, "I only want you smoking one cigar today." Okay, yeah, you pick that one. That's the one. That's the one you pick. We, we call it the one simple trick. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> if you smoke, if you smoke that cigar on your twenty third birthday, you'll be twenty four yeah. by the time. <laughs> You know, one simple trick. That's great. Swipe up, swipe up. Once, yeah. Swipe up. Doctors hate this. Yeah. One simple trick. Doctor, doctor. I only smoke one a day. I only smoke one a day. Like you know, it's eight. It's eight inches long, but you know, eight and a half inches. But anyway. Uh, Yeah. I'm not touching that. Let me tell you another thing. (laughs) Thank you. When I I was here last time. Yeah. When I was here last time, I I gave uh, someone. Well, I gave you guys like a like a little thing that it was um, it was something like this. Uh, what's in the box? What's in the box? I don't know if you remember this, but yeah. but it was like a, a, um, I was trying to tell you that we were gonna do a cigar called Seven. You know, from this the movie Seven. Yes, guys, yeah. I remember that. Box, I remember. Yep. Yep. So we did Seven, right? That's year, and that cigar is it's really good. It's like the anniversary of Asylum. Yep. And we did a very limited uh, quantities, and it was very good. People are like started to the, the thing with these cigars, man, is that you come up with them, uh, and people don't know them, and then all of a sudden you're talking about them, and and some stores have them, people smoke them. This is more of a celebration cigar that the people that smoke uh, Asylum cigars, they're like, man, I'm looking for a nice celebration cigar, mm-hmm. yet Asylum, you know, and I'm willing to pay a little extra for it. So we made seven for this type of people, and it was a very good success. And now people are asking for seven, but then now we are Show and tell, I love it. And this cigar is about to come in. Is that the eight? There it is. The yeah. the so we're already in eight. Nice. And this is coming at the beginning of um, November, if I'm nice. not mistaken. So you, you can look for them. In your stores, and this is Asylum Eight. It's gonna. I already had the cigar. It's a fantastic cigar. Of course, not a small one. (laughs) Nah, it's Asylum. (laughs) Seven by seventy. We're smoking the smallest (laughs) one by Asylum. We have we have two sizes. We have the eleven eight eleven eighteen, which uh, Christian calls it a a a pregnant toro, right? And then we have the seventy by seven. Yep. And and I'm not gonna show you the cigar because we're still working on it. But for CLE. Christian is celebrating his 25 years in the in the in the industry, That's and crazy. we're coming out with CLE 25 yep. anniversary. Nice. And oh this wow! Is, this cigar is also heard it here. Uh, promised to be a, a, an excellent cigar, like a, everything that Christian comes out with, and, and this is going to be for the CLE line. 
Mm -hmm. When do you anticipate that coming out? That this cigar uh, probably uh, the beginning of, of next year. Nice. Uh, we just didn't really want to uh, rela uh, launch uh, both at the same time. Yeah. That's exactly what we did with uh, Eroa Dark and Eroa Hamastran. And uh, when we did that, you know, people were like, well, which one should I go for? And then I don't know if you had it. But the Eroa Darks Such. right now are like the hottest cigar, Dude. man. And, and, and really, this cigar is yeah. something that if you see it in a store, just buy it. Is it's that the one with the gray label? It's, it's a limited... Yes. Can you open it up? It's got a gray label as opposed to the red label. Oh, well, this one is empty, man. No, okay. One, I, I <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm calling you out. Right? No, no. Just that, box. No, it's a dark. No, no, no. Because you, because co correct me if I'm wrong. You've had, you've, you've had two of availabilities in that line, right? And the darker yes. one is amazing i have i could not get off that stick uh, the, the the darker one the lighter one was good but the darker one was like oh my god it goes with yeah. everything it goes and, with red wine like a thick cabernet or a melback red wine if if you want to do that i know story geeks that sounds crazy but you should you should really especially in the fall months now if you live in south florida i'm sorry there's there is no there's no fall right but but like yeah, you know no. but <laughs> But you know, like right now, it's getting so you have like a really heavy body red wine with that is awesome. Bloody Mary it's for awesome. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, of course. Right, it came in two, two different lines, right? With that. Well, the, like I say, we did we did the Hamastran, yep. right, and then we did the dark Eroa yep. dark. We, we we launched two Eroas at the same time, but the the dark came out very strong. Now now people are asking for the Hamastran. The thing is that when we when you release something at the same time. People don't know which one. Hey, should I go for this? Or this? Sure. I think we didn't leave enough space for people to be like, "All right, we had this. Now let me try this." You right. Know? So, so now that's what we're doing. We're trying to uh, make sure that we launch right, and then we we launch what people really want. And then right now, like we launch eight first, yep. which I know people are like, "Man, we we had it on online, and we're we're doing our everything like the the pre-launch." And we can already see people saying, I want to try it. Where can I find it? Oh, I, I'm already smoking seven. I really like it. I can't wait to have the eight. And and I'm telling you guys, eight is going to be a fantastic cigar for you guys to, to try and to celebrate. It's Looking it's forward to it. Cigar, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And then you got the 25th, which is coming out after that. That, that after that, yes, yes, yes. The 25th yeah. is going to be. And we have two more relaunches. But we are not sure yet. But that's that's for next for next year. Hmm. After that, after next that, episode. we're not doing anything else. Relaunch. I'm trying to guess. Yeah. I'm trying a relaunch on the CLE or Asylum. We're doing both. Okay. A relaunch. And actually, yeah. I have something really good, man. I, I should not be talking about this. <laughs> but, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah, you it's should. Actually, it's actually no. I'm gonna say it now. You're on Stogie already. Geeks. You have to talk about it. <laughs> uh, I don't have a plane, Christian but I'll be there with... in 24 hours. <laughs> Oh man, Christian had a really amazing idea, and, and and he's actually putting the salespeople. They're they're competing against each other. So we have the CLE team and we have the Asylum team, yep. and they are actually the ones that are gonna relaunch the cigars. So they're coming up with logos, new logo, if that's what they want. Sure. They're coming up with you know sizes. What sizes do you think? So it's actually the salespeople. You're leaving that it up to the team. Come up with a cigar yep. for the people. So yeah, it's yeah. interesting, man. It's a relaunch. But we're gonna see. It's it's from our best cigars, from uh, two of our best cigars from that line, or mm -hmm. or the cigars that people really don't know, because there, we have in the in the collection, like you see behind me, there's a few cigars that hey people really do not know. And I've noticed in this trip when Christian was selling um, a, a few of these cigars, they he would talk about them, and I would be like, man, where is that cigar right now? I want to try it. It's Christian talking about his cigars, sure. man. And it, it sounded like. Like, it's caramel. It's, like, sweet. Where is it, man? I want to try it. And when I tried after hearing his conversation, he's, I was like, man, I never paid attention to this cigar, man. I mean, I'm going to give you an example. The signature, like I said, it's one of them. Mm -hmm. This cigar, it's, it's, for, it, it's for the cigar, uh, cigar smoker that knows cigars, man. And, and if they want to try something that it's, you know what, something different, something that comes out in a different way. And and this cigar has that that experience, man. And and I'm telling you, when he mentioned that, and and at the beginning it was his private stash. And the reason why it didn't came out really strong is because Christian wanted to release this cigar with no band, with nothing. It, it was more of a boutique cigar. It was more of a, hey guys, if you really want to try something out of the ordinary, try this cigar. 
And man, I, I really never tried it. I, I, I always saw it like ah, it's just another cigar. But when I had it after hearing him talking about the cigar constantly, man, it's become one of my favorite cigars because of of that experience. It, it's only the thing that you that you you taste when you know uh, CLE cigars. Yeah, it's that Honduran flavor, that's that Corojo taste, man, so amazing. Yeah. Um. You know Nick from Churchill's, right? Yeah. Okay. So Nick, uh, a guy, a guy from Churchill's, one of the cigar lounges that 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 we 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 frequent a lot, goes, "Hey, Jojo, uh, this happened like two weeks ago. Jojo, I got this cigar. You gotta try this and that." He gives me the CLE Corolla, and I'm like, "Dude, you're like so like three years ago, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like you know." And, 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 but but you know what's crazy? This this is a lesson learned, right? Yeah. He found out about the CLE Criollo from Alan Dino. So, Interesting. yeah. Interesting. So it was like one of those things where he tried Alan Dino, found out who he was, this, that, and the other thing. And then he's like, oh, wow. He's like, well, there's. And like, he's now into this whole CLE kick. And I'm like, you should. I was like, okay, strike one. You don't watch my show because we've, we've, <laughs> we, 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 we've had CLE on multiple times, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, we've had them on. And, and, and he's like, he's like, I didn't realize like they were that, like, really that big. And I'm like, do you realize who he was before he, CLE was around? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, you know, it's, thing, it, it, yeah. it's crazy. And, and, and that's why it's just one of those things. And now he's a Story Geeks listener. So, hi, Nick. Right, he says he listens now. So you know, it's like it's like he's Nick. like he's like you get that good job, man. You know, and, and I'm just like, hey. So now I have one listener, actually two. My mom, so that's good. <laughs> right, so you know, my wife listens. Oh, three. Right, we're doing good. We're up to three. We're right? doing good. We're doing good. Yeah. Johnny and Gustavo five. So we're doing good. We're doing perfect. Right. So uh, yeah. So you know, it, it, it's one of those things where and and and, and that I think is so important because. Even by the time it gets to the brick and mortar where you did your, you know, your your dinners for, you have a lot of uh, bands within your profile, but I think you have just the right amount. You don't have too many, yeah. right? And, 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 you know, you don't have too many where it's like, oh, they're coming out with another one, they're coming out with another one. Yeah. You have just the right amount. Mm -hmm. You're trying to, you know, uh, switch the cadence as to when you release them and all of that type right. stuff and i think that that's super important too and the fact that you're not like we're gonna wait till july like everyone else does to release it just release right. it just release it and let the people go out there and try to find it i want to take a couple of minutes to talk about this we we're smoking by the way when i went next door and they were like hey uh, we just got a bunch of CLEs, and I'm like, oh, that's crazy, because I'm interviewing them today. And they're like, no kidding. I was like, yeah. He showed me the pandemonium, and I'm like, okay, I, w the show's not going to be that long. So <laughs> so we're not talking about that. Then he brought out this here, the Asylum 13 Corojo, which is a 50 by 5. This is a great stick. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. This is a it, – it, this stick is – is it almost leaving your mouth dry enough to want more? So I didn't know you got it next door, and now that I know that, when the show's done, I'm going to go yeah. over and get some. Dude, wait to see the price. It's like, oh, my God, like this is, like, crazy. They're awesome. They're, they're, they're so strategically priced. They're yeah. super cool. They're leveraged. Now, they do have the bigger version, the, the quote-unquote typical Asylum version, but these are freaking awesome. Yeah. Like, these are so good. Great notes. Um, I bullet cut this, as I usually do m most of my cigars, but it's leaving me with, like, a dryness, but it's lingering on my palate to make me want more. Is that... I killed mine already. It's done. Sure. Oh, you're already on... Oh, yeah. I'm on... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm on number two. He's three. He Well, he's... I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something, Joe. I, I wish we could, we could do the... the you know, going back to Honduras, uh, we used to do this, these programs where we take people to Honduras and, and, and try the cigars there, you know, from, from the factory. Yep. And what you're saying right now with Corojo, I, I had this conversation with Christian, too, because, man, we were just in Honduras maybe a, a month ago. And uh, I, I, it's always uh, a hassle to get cigars from there because they're very careful on what they give to the people. So... We called earlier and we we're like, hey, man, we're, we're getting there. So can we have a few cigars of this, a few cigars of that? And they had the cigars for us when we when, when we got there. 
So I started smoking, right? Man, and I'm telling you, I was going four cigars a day, like nothing. And and I was going one after another one. I would wake up in the morning wanting a coffee and a Corojo cigar right yes. away, man. Yep. And, and I didn't get it. I ha- It was in my mouth. It was like in, in the back of my throat. And I came to Christian. I'm like, yo, let me ask you a question. Man, what is this? What do they have? Like, I, I'm craving it. He goes, that's what Hondur- uh, the Corojo does when it's factory fresh. It it, 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 it it it's like it creates an addiction, man. It, the taste stays yes. in your mouth. It's yes. it's yeah, corrupt, it man. Yep. So that's what you're trying. What, yep. That's what you're tasting, man. Yeah. You know what's crazy is that tobacco in this university tells you that you get five flavors from your palate. That's it. Cocoa and freaking unicorn freaking hair and and baba bar and this and that <laughs> and leather and all of that stuff. No, I'm just saying, right? It it it. it they're adjectives. They're, they're, they're right. adjectives, right? <laughs> Saying, wow, I can taste leather, right? Now, in order for you to taste leather, let's let's be honest, right? You have to suck on your leather belt. Okay? <laughs> Does it really taste like right? that? Right? And, 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 and then they go, but but we have visuals, right? We say this when we when we smoke Davidoff. We say it's like that Davidoff hay, that earthiness, whichever, right? right? You, with, with the, when you're talking Corojo, right? It's 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 like staple of one of the five flavors, right? Yes. Of of the five components, and that's called umami, right? Where you're yes. like, where you're like, and I'm only doing the sucking thing because <laughs> 60 sixty percent of our audience listens to it on audio, audio, audio. So I have to, <laughs> so I have to cater to both audiences, right? So when when you when you're like, man, shit, like it's it's like it's like you have a steak, right? It's been yep. seared, and you have the end, and and you're like you have the steak, and then whatever you use for spices, the pepper, and like it just goes on the side of your tongue, and your body says, "Holy shit! Holy f- I want another bite uh, yeah. now!" Right? Yes. It's, it's, yes. It, that is what authentic Corojo does to you. Exactly. It's like yes. you uh, you you're like, "Holy crap! I want this now!" Like like yeah. and, and, and then like. And this is how I rate cigars, right? So when I and I'm only speaking for myself. I'm not speaking for Nelson or Drew, or 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 previous Sto- uh, Stogie Geeks host, right? But when I go, holy shit, I want more. It gets a freaking higher <laughs> rating. Like you know, if I'm yeah. like, if I'm like, oh man, you know, this is pretty good. You know what I mean? Oh, the yeah. story's good. You know, you gotta go seek in your car, go get the story because it's a unicorn stick and blah blah blah. You know, okay, it gets a box split with the friend because it's an right. experience. But like Corojo is like, is like, we're gonna see a lot of movements. This is a story, story geeks prediction, which. Prediction number one I'm about to say already had come true. I've been saying this for like the past year is we're going to see a lot more complex Connecticut's. In other words, we say Connecticut using it as an adjective, meaning a lighter wrapper and a lighter wrapper is going to have more complex flavor than. And, 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 and the reason being just at a very basic level is when you have a Connecticut wrapper, i.e. a lighter shade, and then you throw a Nicaraguan component in there. Well, guess what? Boom. It's going to be spicy. As opposed to the traditional Nicaraguan, Conne- I'm sorry, the tra- traditional Connecticut Dominican, right? And, and there are a lot Absolutely of good Dominican no, cigars out there, right? Second prediction here is Corojo done correctly makes you wanting more. Oh, of course. Absolutely. And, and it makes me want more than the Habano wrapper. Now, I love my Habano Nicaraguan combos. They have their place. But the Corojo is like, it's like succulent, like a steak. And that's yeah. what I get off of this. Now, yeah. now again, please note, Stogie Geeks, if you go get the Asylum 13 Corojo and you get it in a bigger ring gauge, because of the components of the cigar, you might not get that succulent taste. You oh, yeah, gotta, it's gonna be different. You gotta veer off of the bigger ring gauge, try mm-hmm. the five by fifty, and you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. Size That's matters right. in cigars. Yes. Size yeah. matters. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. Size matters, yeah. yeah. It's like, <laughs> and, and, but you're right. The the draw yeah. I've smoked cigars that you know, they're fifty four and, and the draw is completely different. Mm-hmm. And yep. the, the the flavor comes out different and yep. it, it's in, in, interesting how the size does matter. <laughs> yep. This is this is my visual, okay? When I exhale, it takes all of the negative out of my body 
and it injects my brain and say, I want more Corojo. It's great. Like, yeah. were, were you getting yeah. that? Like, it, it's crazy. What I thought, I'm going to go next door. Yeah, get more it's, when it, I'm done. It's, it's completely crazy. No and, question. And, and, and I've never had one of these till, till today. That's this exactly one. Um, I, I promise you guys, I'm going to try my best to find you some factory fresh from Honduras. I'm going to send, I'm sending you guys this so you can try and you're gonna tell me the same thing. Like, yeah, that Corojo man sticks in your in your palate, man. It's just a it's umami, addictive. like you but said. But let me man. ask you this flavor. Let me ask you this question. This is kind of like a, a level up, and I'm in a, and I'm I am digging here, right? W right. What's the difference between like a CLE Corojo and an Asylum Corojo? Like 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 it's like the Asylum Corojo. The CLE Corojo is good. Don't get me wrong. Right. Right. But I don't know why, like, what is the in this cigar that's making me, like, go bonkers for it? And I like the CLE Corojo, but if I had a choice, CLE Corojo or the Aroa Doc, I'm going with the Aroa Doc. Because the Aroa Doc has that same component of that umami where you're like, you really want oh. more. Like you, it's like it's yeah. crazy. So, so yeah. what, what's what's the differences? Can you explain that, that that to us? Okay, so for the CLE line, we have we have uh, Corojo, yep. Havano, and Connecticut. They all have the same body, just different wrapper, right? right. And that that's th that right there is going to be your your experience because they have the same body, different wrapper. Then you're gonna be like, okay, so this is very mild. Yeah, it, it, it's a very um, I call it like a, a cigar so you can enjoy a game. It's calm. But if you smoke a, a, an Asylum, it's going to have a more kick to it. And that's because the Asylum smoker likes that kick to it. You know, it has it, it's willing to go for a little more power. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're getting. The, the Asylum is gonna, always going to give you that profile of a little a little more power to it. And and that's what we use, a Corojo that is a little more, uh, I don't want to say fermented, but more more cured. So it, you, you have a better, a, a different taste, a little more kick to it right. and the body is completely different too so it, you're gonna have more kick to it. so in the actual making of the cigar compared to cle to asylum even though they're under the same corporate umbrella mm -hmm. the richer nutrient corojo should be found in the asylum is that what I mean, you you find both right okay. but yeah one is a little milder than, yep. than the yep. other one yeah 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 cool uh, all right it's not just me i I, I, I'm very selfish sometimes. I ask these questions because I want to know. Like, probably only me wants to know. But I'm like, what? this is what I'm getting the difference, which is a, which is a great test to my palate. You know what I mean? But I'm super cool that, 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 that you gave us that answer. Nelson, you have a question? Uh, honestly, Raul, you answered pretty much all my questions. Oh, Raul always does. He jumped ahead. But I do have one more. When are you coming to New England? Because we definitely want to sit down with you, smoke a stick, have a cocktail. It looks like he's frozen. So while he uh, fixes that on his end, um, that's a good question. He'll, yeah. When are you gonna fly down and pick us up? Right. <laughs> and bring us to Honduras. Talk to Christian. Bring us down there. Yeah. He'll figure out that he's been, Ben has been frozen. But but uh, to keep the show going, as this, like as I'm smoking this Corojo, like, I, you know, I I, I'm, like this to me is box worthy all day. Like oh, completely, yeah. listen, Stokey com Geeks. Completely, like selfishly. Boxed. Yeah. The reason I love this show is not only I get to hang out with Joe and learn more shit from Joe, but I get exposed to new sticks I had never had the Corojo uh, from uh, from Asylum, and I, I love it. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I've I've had I've had the the bigger version, and it is box worthy, by the way. Oh yeah, for sure. Like Although, all like, I, like all. Day. I can't afford a box, so I'm like, gonna buy a few. Like like crazy. <laughs> no, actually, you could. You could. It, it it's crazy. Oh, he's back. But, Raul's back. Yeah, yeah. He'll he'll back. he knows the drill. Raul, when you coming up to New England so we can smoke a stick? Oh man, I, I wish I could go sooner than later, man. We'll hope this next year we go again, man. Awesome. Outstanding. Awesome. Definitely visit you guys. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you want to add? I mean, so far, that's it. I mean, we... we uh, that's enough. You've been doing good. Go. You guys have been yeah. busy. Know what the secrets you want to reveal? <laughs> nah, you haven't revealed enough. It's you, just between us, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's only yeah, five yeah. people listening to the show, so you're good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you're good. You're good. No, awesome. Yeah. Um, What are your thoughts of, like, 
like it's it's like you know you've obviously learned how to pivot and, and like what are your thoughts industry wise take off your CLE hat now okay so full disclaimer Christian he's gonna talk about the industry now <laughs> like what are your thoughts about like 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 2021 is <laughs> gonna be an interesting year number one if we all have some sort of a vaccine and we can all go back to trade shows or more importantly without trade shows or with or without trade shows yeah. like going back to like a normal uh, normal I use that here quotes right right going back to our normal like lives like what do you think industry wise like what what what's gonna you know if we can all fly back and then go there like what what do you think I my first prediction is that once you fast forward we realize that like say we get vaccined or people take it and and trade shows are for like a norm again they're gonna be packed oh yeah like people are gonna be flying they're around like people are gonna be like uh, flying like like cruise ships like carnival or or royal caribbean or it's whatever blow up. like it's just it's like people are gonna travel again and do that it's gonna be an interesting interesting time and I'm again. I'm fast forwarding for, and it may be latter 2021 by the time we all can, you know, go and do this. But it's going to be an interesting time, volume wise, of us being home and all the brand awareness efforts that have gone over Zoom and all of that stuff and different podcasts and there. Like it's going to be a fun time to be in in any industry that there. Not only like the premium cigar industry, but it's going to be super cool. That's my prediction. Well, like it's going to be like crazy I, busy. I feel, man. I feel that that we're going to see that growth as well. And and I think that the people that are putting more efforts right now, or since the pandemic started, right, mm -hmm. and they're giving a hundred and ten percent. These guys are the ones that are going to uh, reap what they saw, right? Yep. So, uh, man, we we I could see it earlier in a different industry. Uh, the people that you know said, "All right, I'm not gonna stay here and 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 wait until something happens. I'm gonna make something happen on, on myself or for myself or for the people that work with, with me." And yeah. you know, we're all gonna move together. And these are the people that right now are ahead on the game. And yeah. I saw this in the industry too, man. Who is on board? Who is actually putting the work right now? And the people that are putting the work right now are the ones that are gonna stay, man, stay strong, or they're gonna go like that. Whoop. Yep. You know, yep. some people are going to stay down. Some people are going to close. And, and it is what it is, man. I, I think this thing also is cleaning. And, and I'm sorry to say it like that, but this is uh, really who's showing uh, who's the man and who's the boy, you know? So, yep. Yep. so whoever right on. is really, right on. you know, putting the work and, and really making it professional, yep. you're going to see it. You're going to see it. And, and these people are going to do very, very good. And then you're going to see who didn't do the homework. Man. Yeah, and I think that we are doing beyond and above for everybody else and and like i said everybody the team it's aligned it's been a while since i think christian could say this but his team is very aligned and and we all know what we need to do and everybody's on board man even even with everything happening you know it's not only covid it's it's everything happening yeah. every uh, we're all on top of it you know and and we're working hard man some of us we haven't even taken vacations because we are like on top of the business yep. and, and we're making sure that we leave everything ready for next year and i feel that next year we're gonna do very good and like i said if, if you really put in the work you're gonna get it yep yeah joe talks all the time about you know the business model and pivoting and i think that doesn't come into play more than it does this year mm -hmm. right 2020 pandemic and I would argue, and I don't have any statistics to back this up, but I think the cigar popularity has increased in 2020. Um, oh, yeah. But at the same time, obviously, you know, brands are, are struggling and, and trying to pivot, right, to, mm -hmm. to do, understand how they're going to come out of this. But you're spot on in that if you're not planning for 2021, you're gonna you, you're gonna see who the, who the men are, who the boys are. You're yeah. absolutely right. Are, yeah. yep. You've got to be able to pivot and move on with your business. You got to change your business model to to deal with current COVID and go post COVID. Yep, you have to. I mean, so, I've yeah. there are some products that are just in my business that I'm never gonna offer anymore. 
Like uh, just, just just because the way COVID had hit, You're pivoting. It's never, it's never, uh, yeah. uh, never. And I'm like, okay, I gotta. So then I pull my QuickBooks and figure out how much that revenue is, and how am I gonna replace that revenue in 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 2021 and catch up? And you never really do catch up, but you know, catch up nah. from 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 the pivot movement of what am I gonna offer now? So yeah, if you keep trying to do what you're currently doing, mm-hmm. cookie cutter, is that hey, gonna work? Hey, right, exactly. It's it, Oh, it's working. It's been working, so I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. You're done. Yep. You're not going to yeah. survive. Yep. Awesome. Uh, one more question before I let you go. Okay? Sure. Um, hot topic that's going to come up, and it's been coming up in September. I made a prediction back here on Story Geeks in March uh, that it was going to be October, November. It was going to be extremely bad. Um, the question of inventory. Okay. How are you guys with inventory? I'm gonna tell you this. We have the guy that just showed up right now, yep. uh, Mr. Uh, Tyler Wall Ravenstein, has done an amazing job, man. Like yep. I'm telling you, we were we were, we had a little problems, but man, we push and yeah. we push, and then the way Christian has everything, uh, the way that we also sold it in the in the dinner series. Man, he made it to where, yes, there's going to be back order, but sure. we can handle it, right? Yep. And and we've handled it pretty well. We we got cigars coming every week, every month. Everything is it's it's going out. So everybody's getting their cigars. Uh, inventory is coming. Uh, Tyler did an amazing job on, on making sure that whenever we needed something, everything is already on the way. Mm-hmm. So uh, the first batch, we already knew, hey, man, we're not going to do good. Uh, wait, I already ordered it. Don't worry about it. It's coming. So and and he's really on 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 people from Nicaragua. Even though Nicaragua struggle struggle so much, yep. Man, I'm we are a little bit behind, but it's nothing. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing like oh man, we've we've done work. No, we are just a little bit behind, but mm-hmm. nothing crazy. Nothing that we cannot um, say. Oh, you want to say right. something? Please say something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Let me just. I'm gonna have the experience. <laughs> All right, sure. I love special <laughs> guest appearance. Nah, this is the uh, hey, what's up? <laughs> Sorry, I'm 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 85 years old. <laughs> Technology. See, Raul and, I, Raul and I are pretty intimate, so like, make sure you like, sit down yeah, so we, we can see, see you. you. <laughs> sit down. Oh yeah, no, don't. You, you get to see my ripped. You get to see my ripped ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do some bad man. What's up, man? So, dude, dude, I'm, I'm Tyler. I'm the. Uh, hey, Tyler. The, hey, Tyler. The back, I'm the back. I'm the back order lightning rod. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so you know, imagine like I have the blessing and the curse to sit next to Christian every day. Mm-hmm. And in fact, I've been here for seven years, and it's been like it's like that bl- the training scene from Bloodsport. Yes, <laughs> you know? I just get, I just pretty much get my ass beat every day. It seems, but you know what? Right now, I'm just sitting in the chair. The punch comes. I'm able to my blindfold on. But no, dude. So it was interesting the supply chain thing, right? Yep. Because like you know, we started seeing this thing coming, and Dude, when was it like? It was like in March, April, whenever the Honduran government came to Dan Lee and they just started knocking on factory doors saying, yo, you got to close down the factories. You know, the president of Orlando uh, just put in a thing saying stop in all manufacturing. Mm-hmm. So imagine we were two months, almost two months without production out of Honduras. And it just happened to be that we. Yeah, the the ah. yeah. I think we just lost the. No, feed. it's south. It's South Florida. It's South Florida internet. It's ta- <laughs> happen in South Florida internet. Spectrum. De, de, Raul will figure it out and he'll jump back on. And we're, after that, Johnny, we're we're gonna wrap up that the the segment. But yeah, but definitely, um, yeah, he'll figure it out. He'll dial oh, back. Hey, he's back. There he is. Go for it. Tyler's back. All right. So yeah. So like in you know Nicaragua, I can't speak for the other manufacturing operations, but we use Nax, all right. Yep. That's the people, you know, they make a Psalm 13, Schizo, Chile, Proyecto. But, you know, we were finding that, I mean, they, they put in the same, you know, Bayer measures as we did. They had a little spray with the Vicron, things yep. like that, the disinfect everybody, the mask and the temperature things. But, you know, imagine if you had a little factory in Nicaragua or Honduras, you had to be two meters apart. So imagine, like, you had a little itty bitty factory and you couldn't do it, you couldn't comply with the laws. And the government just kind of said, "Hey, we're not letting you open back up." Wow. So I mean, we we have a, we have a, like a, a reasonable size operation, but we had to expand that thing to almost two city blocks in Honduras because everybody had to be two meters apart, like rollers, not pairs, but like 
one roller's here, the other's two meter apart. So you expanded it was, as a result of it? It's really quite impressive. So you expanded as a result of it? As a result, I mean, it's a, uh, I mean, Honduras is like 98% capacity, honestly. Yeah. Like, yeah. Wow. You know, you know, but Nicaragua as a whole, you know, I would say it's at 50, 40, 50, 60% capacity. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have, we, there's a big bottleneck going on. You ask any yep. store like, yeah. Hey, how are your name XYZ supplier from Nicaragua? And unless they carry away like a, a ton of inventory in Miami or whatever, chances are it probably has some back order problems. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But, I mean, we're getting shipments every we're getting shipments every week from Nicaragua. Um, I mean, it's definitely way tighter. I got a lot more gray hairs now. See <laughs> I see uh, like two, but that's it. You're doing good. No, you should see, man. <laughs> and I mean, we get stuff every week. Really fortunate. We feed the beast. But, I mean, it's tight, man, and we don't know. I hope it gets better. It will. It will. It will get. It will get better. It will get better. It will. You know. But it's. Uh, but obviously, I've known Christian, and he's gonna stay on it. Like that's just his gig. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? As you oh, know, yeah, you've man, been with guy. him. You've been with him for seven years. He just stays on it. And and yeah. and and if you work, for, I could imagine working for Christian. But I know Christian's type, right? He's not gonna accept no for an answer. He wants it. No, no. He man. wants it, and he wants like, it, in, and he wants it in the people's hands. And if he's gonna put that freaking stuff on a plane himself, he'll do it. Like uh, that's how but, he is. But I'll tell you, man. What what I what I applaud. So, for example, Raul was talking about the arrow with dark. Mm -hmm. You know, that cigar is like the bane of my existence. You know, like there's that Sasha Baron Cohen movie, the, the dictator, where they're having the interview and they ask a question. The guy's like, "What? I did not hear you." Yeah, That's yeah. What yeah. Is about the road with dark. I'm just like, I'm just like, next question, please, because <laughs> that we use like a really special wrapper. Yep. And frankly, we just don't. We're not going to compromise on the quality or the profile of the cigar just to get it on a boat. So yep. that's something that I'm really proud of. You know, I think a company we share that value that. If it's a, if it's a, frankly if it's a ship product we don't accept it, mm -hmm. you know where there are people that, you know they see that the business is kind of like a Nike swoosh right even the production's been like this or like this, and some people they try to ride the wave by just say just put it bands on anything but with us like we still hold by the quality that hey listen you know this is every cigar we we sell, it's somebody's first opportunity to try to brand yep and as you know we only remember the really awesome cigars or the really terrible cigars. Yep, and absolutely. the really terrible cigars, frankly, I smoked a lot of them, and you just don't you just don't want to try them again, especially yeah. like you know your work eight, nine, ten hours a day at cubicle or whatever, and this pandemonium. Let's say let's just say it's a X Y Z cigar. And that thing you light it up and it burns like on one side, dude. You're gonna be pissed. Yeah, and you never you the cigar ruins your day, and so yep. you're not gonna go back. Right. So that's why we're we draw test everything. Uh, and you know what? If it doesn't go through a draw tester, frankly, that cigar is not being made. Or some people are like, "Oh, whatever." With us, you know, we take we take quality really seriously because really, that's the only chance you got. It absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you for jumping in. Yeah, you're welcome. And thank you so for giving us this definition. <laughs> cool. Thank you. <laughs> and I love Raul. Get your get over here and talk. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Raul. Oh, he can't hear me yet. He's Hold on, yet. he's a. Uh, Raul. Oh, Tyler or well, Robinstein. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Awesome. Raul, thank you for all of the information that you had supplied us with today. Uh, definitely a big mouthful. Definitely stuff that we will definitely be talking about um, for, for weeks and months on end, for sure. Um, give my best to Christian and the team and hope that everyone stays safe. And we're going to see you next time, Raul. Thank you for the update. Great meeting you, Raul. Uh, same to you guys. Thank you for the opportunity. You guys are amazing. Always, always on top of, of, of what we're doing. And I appreciate the invite. Thank you so much for your time. Guys, keep keep shining like you, you like you guys do. And and thank you for everything. We will. Story Geeks is definitely here to stay. That's for sure. Whether the industry likes it or not. <laughs> that's how it goes. We like it. We All righty. Like awesome. Raul, thank you for appearing on Story Geeks yet again. We appreciate the update. Story Geeks, when we come back, we have sticks of the week of what Nelson and I have been smoking. We're going to take a quick break.